Hey, what's going on guys? Wanted to hop on real quick and talk about the whole car buying process. Now I'm not gonna dig real deep into the entire process, but I really wanted to talk about how a lot of time we go into the dealership completely unprepared. And the only thing that we discuss with the dealership is what car payment we want. You know, buying a car is gonna be your second largest purchase in your life, obviously besides your, your home purchase. But unfortunately, these car payments are looking like mortgage payments. And that's for many reasons, you know, obviously since the pandemic, the price of cars has, has shot, shot up. They're coming down a little bit, but still we have an average of like 84 month car payments. Now, when I was growing up, most car loans were for 60 months. And let's just talk a little bit about how we go into the car dealership to completely unprepared for our purchase. You know, sometimes we go in for an oil change. Happened to me a few weeks ago. I had my wife's van. I took it into the dealership to get an oil change. As I was sitting there, one of the car salesmen came up and just started small talk with me, which I knew exactly what he was getting at. I had my 2016 Odyssey in there, oil change. And, and he eventually tried to get me to traded in he he told me i was sitting on a pile of cash which i know i am but I, i'm not interested in getting another car you know my wife's van has about eighty-seven thousand miles my 2016 camry has about 120 matter of fact i just hit 127,000 miles like literally just now when i pulled up into the driveway but when people ask me to upgrade my my vehicles i just say why would I upgrade a Honda? Why would I upgrade a Toyota? Like they're gonna drive forever. I got another 10, 15 years if I choose to do that. I don't care about the shininess of a new vehicle. I, don't, I just don't care. I like getting from point A to B. That's really all that matters to me. However, if I were in the market to buy a new vehicle, I would not allow impulsivity to get the best of me. And that's what most of us do. We decide at the last minute like while we're getting the oil change a car salesman comes up to us and starts talking to us about how he can keep our payments the same you know i have two paid off vehicles we have two paid off vehicles so we don't we you know car payments and all that stuff doesn't really mean anything to us but they used to at one point and if somebody came up to me and told me you can go from a 2005 to a 2015 and keep the same car payment oh man that would that that's gonna sell me that that would have sold me and it's gonna sell most people if they can go from something you know old and beat up to something shiny and new and you keep the same payment or you actually go down a, a dollar or five dollars a month little do they know they're extending this new payment out 90 months or 84 months or something crazy like that and we don't think about it 96 months it just doesn't matter because we we are keeping the same payment we've been ingrained to keep the same payment so when we walk into a dealership totally unprepared we talk about payment and i'm gonna tell you right now having sold cars after i dropped out of college for for a year we can make any payment happen if you tell me you want a 500 hundred dollar payment oh i'm gonna make it happen if we stretch it out to 84 or 96 months hey it doesn't matter but you're happy because we were giving you the payment that you wanted instead of walking into the dealership talking about the payment you want negotiate on total out the door price i wouldn't even negotiate on the the price of the vehicle i would negotiate on out the door price because even if you they give you the price of the vehicle they're going to add all these other fees if you negotiate ahead of time on out the door price you have everything lined up in front of you and you could decide which fees are, are junk fees and you could tell them hey i'll come into the dealership if you take these particular fees off period so you could even lower the out the door price that they give you negotiate from the comfort of your home through text through email whatever you need to do do not negotiate on their turf because they will get you every time negotiate ahead of time negotiate on out the door price avoid talking about payments period and get your pre-approval from your credit union if you're gonna finance and try to finance for 36 to 48 months max, period. All right? Well, good luck, guys. If you do decide you need to go get a new vehicle for any reason, I'm going to keep driving these 16s till the wheels fall off. All right?
Hey, good luck. Take it easy.